the send-off of NASA's Explorer exams became just like the beginning of an impressive excursion into space. It established that we can preserve a watch on the planet as properly as the whole thing in our close by planet group and beyond. Even after 46 years, those superb space equipment are still imparting scientists with new and shocking facts approximately space. Although their reminiscence is 3 million times smaller than that of our cellular telephones and their pace is 1,000 times slower than our quickest 5G net connection, those notable checks still lead the manner in exploring area. Now, Explorer 1 has, in reality, made a first-rate discovery in interstellar area, one which demanding situations all that we assumed we knew about the universe. It found something so rare that scientists are left scratching their heads. But what precisely did it find? And how does it redefine our expertise of the universe? On a special day, September 5, 1977, from an area known as Cape Canaveral in Florida, something superb took place. Explorer 1 started its journey into space, dispatched off by means of a sturdy rocket called Titan II. Only 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Explorer 2 joined in, starting its journey into the universe. Their main work became to observe the big gasoline planets in our planetary institution like Jupiter and Saturn and the moons around them. However, guess what? These area voyagers went a long way beyond. They went way out into our full-size solar system, breaking plenty of records on their incredibly lengthy experience. They have got been going longer than any other space equipment ever, and they have gone farther from Earth than anything humans have made before. They even went into an area known as interstellar space. That is like going into an entire extraordinary a part of our machine that no person explored earlier than. These space trailblazers, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, are extra than 12 billion miles far away from us now. Nevertheless, they maintain to amaze scientists with the brilliant things they're coming across available. And they've recently discovered something so sudden that no person saw it coming. The Explorer dual checks have done some amazing stuff over a long term. Back, they checked out the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and completely surprised scientists. Humans used to suppose these moons had been uninteresting and full of holes like our moon, but apparently, now not. They are buzzing with activity. Explorer 2 turned into the first of the twins to drop by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later, it zoomed past Neptune. But here's the thrilling element. It is the only rocket that has ever performed that. As those rockets flow ahead on their exquisite adventure, NASA is doing some tricks to make sure they hold working. They switched off sure things they didn't want, like more parts and heaters, to save electricity. That manner, these rockets would be able to continue pressing onward till as a minimum 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been part of this extraordinary journey from the very starting, it's a combination of glad and sad feelings. They labored tough, and now when they thought the Explorer according to missions have been nearly carried out, an excellent discovery emerged from area. The statistics sent lower back through Explorer 1 and its twin travel has grown to be a mom load for scientists. They ignited masses of discoveries and were given human beings enthusiastic about space. Those are two shuttles that were built more cautiously like stable systems so they might take clear images and collect information while zooming through area. Even earlier than they reached the outer planets, their pics were already knocking scientists' socks off. Explorer 1 started sending pics of Jupiter, even though it was nevertheless far away from the planet. People at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory got excited once they saw the primary snapshots of Jupiter's swirling clouds and the well-known awesome red spot. But the pivotal second came while the explorers discovered something mind-blowing on Jupiter's moon, Io. This moon, veritably bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the maximum energetic volcano in our entire close-by-planet group. Explorer 1's devices picked up strange indicators from Io, and the pics they took confirmed massive volcanic eruptions and stuff flying out into area. One in all Io's volcanoes, referred to as Pell, erupted hugely higher than even Mount Everest and included a place nearly as huge as France. The explorers combined took greater than 33,000 pics of Jupiter and its moons. They showed how lovely Jupiter is and all the unique scenes on its moons. Another big wonder was finding out Jupiter has jewelry, despite the fact that they're not very vivid. This discovery made Jupiter even even greater exciting. Also, Explorer 2 observed that Europa, certainly one of Jupiter's 53 moons, has a thick ice shell more than 60 miles thick. These revelations made scientists reconsider what they thought approximately these remote gadgets in area, 
and were given them curious approximately whether or not Europa could be places where life ought to exist. As the explorers left Jupiter, they were given a lift from the planet's gravity that behaved like a sturdy kick, sending them toward Saturn. This kick changed into specifically huge because it helped them break unfastened from the sun's pull and hold going into space. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 went their methods after that, heading to new places. Explorer 1 got close to Saturn's moon Titan, which has a kind of orange haze around it. Scientists got curious about Titan's secrets, so they studied its complicated chemistry. Then, Explorer 1 grew to become away from other planets and started going beyond our solar system. On the opposite hand, Explorer 2 had some superb adventures too. In 1986, it flew by way of Uranus and determined 10 new moons, adding to the entire count. Three years later, it reached Neptune, displaying us the terrific things approximately this a ways away ice large. Explorer 2 even measured winds on Neptune going as speedy as 1000 mph, the fastest ever on a planet in our solar system. When the commute got near Neptune, only 2980 miles away, it gave us new and beautiful insights approximately this remote global. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest places in our planetary group, with temperatures dropping to a freezing less than minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton additionally had those cool ice volcanoes that shot out nitrogen gas and icy stuff into its skinny air. These revelations made us comprehend how specific and captivating the planets and moons in our solar system can be even the farthest ones. Imagine an area journey story, and one character who had a large impact in pushing it alongside was the well-known astronomer Carl Schon. He became part of the team that took images for the Explorer undertaking, and he desired to snap one ultimate set of pics earlier than switching off the cameras. These snapshots might be like a unique present for all of us on this planet, a closing take a look at our domestic from some distance out in space. Sean didn't give up and it paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Explorer 1 grew to become its digital camera back toward the Interplanetary Institution and took 60 snapshots, the most well-known one called the Light Blue Dot. It turned into Taken from 3.8 billion miles away, making it the farthest photograph of our planet ever taken. Within the picture, Earth appears tiny like a light blue dot in the extensive area around it. Even after 40 years, those shuttles are still obtainable sending us precious statistics from the farthest parts of area. Now permits talk approximately something a bit previous. The Explorer assessments use an antique at track system. Yes, you heard it right. Eight track tapes were a big deal all through the 70s, and these exams are nonetheless rocking them. It just indicates how clever the folks that planned this challenge were, making sure those old tapes could nonetheless get the process executed. However, why at track tapes you can marvel? Nicely, it truly is a tale worth listening to. In the beginning of exploring area, the sort of virtual storage we use nowadays turned into just beginning, in order that they wished something difficult and dependable to shop vital statistics, and those eight song tapes turned out to be the right preference. What's even more thrilling is that the facts on these tapes is not just regular music. It's precious technology information about planets, moons, and space between the celebrities. Yes, these tapes hold the solutions to a number of the biggest mysteries regarded to Guy. Now reflect on consideration on this. The Explorer shuttles face crazy things like excessive warm and bloodless temperatures, space radiation, and the void of area. However, of route, those old voyagers preserve to regions of electricity. It is like sending your grandparents on a journey in Antarctica, and not only do they live on, but they thrive. The Explorer missions had this excellent move known as gravity assist moves. Consider it like this, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, two difficult area pioneers, had been on a huge mission to explore the far out in our planetary group. To move to these remote places and accumulate precious records, they wanted a bit help, something other than just their engines. Right here's wherein gravity assists come in, and it is kind of like an area dance. In place of just using their engines, those rockets did this cool celestial dance with some of the planetary corporation's big planets. They used the sturdy pull of those giants to slingshot themselves ahead, saving fuel and getting the rate they had to go to plenty of various places. Gravity assists, additionally called gravitational slingshots, are all about grabbing some velocity from a planet as the travel goes by means of. Consider Explorer 1 swinging as much as Jupiter, 
a massive gasoline massive with a pull to fit its length. The study center ensured explorer one world beyond Jupiter at the appropriate point and velocity. Jupiter's gravity pulled at the space, making it pass faster like an area power-up. However, here's the exciting part. There's an art to this pass. If Explorer 1 had approached Jupiter the incorrect way, it'd have been a space disaster, sending the GAP apparatus manor off base. Fortunately, the NASA experts aced it, and the worthwhile celestial dance with the planets became a massive fulfillment. The degree of precision required is splendid, however, wager what? The smart researchers and designers who planned this grandio dance did not just get it right as soon as, however, usually. Way to these gravity assists, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 went on this amazing ride through the close by planet group. Explorer 2, for instance, used boosts from Jupiter and Saturn to zoom to Uranus and Neptune. These space movements performed a large role in getting the wonderful visit going. Without those slingshot movements, the Explorer assignment couldn't have probably been as first-rate as they had been. Explorer 1 made it to interstellar space, and Explorer 2 wasn't a long way at the back of. Because of the immensely correct gravity assists, they got the idea at the back of gravity assists is simple. However, getting it going is complex. Explorer 2000 Go to required a number of precision. Assuming they missed any of the one's lifts, the entire task might have long gone incorrect. However, the humans handling the whole lot were very skillful to get all the records they might. Efforts via researchers and area specialists to absolutely recognize the concept of gravity assist LED them to uncovering something even greater vile about the dark breadth of space. The Deep Area Network, DSN. Even although the Explorer missions use gravity help actions to explore space, there's some other critical thing that made everything paintings. The Deep Area Network, DSN. Take into account it like an area smartphone line that saved us speaking with our courageous explorer assessments as they went into the unknown. Now, what precisely is the deep area network? It's not as flashy as a spaceship, however, it's essential. The DSN is like a huge community of radio antennas in numerous locations of the planet, like California, Spain, and Australia. These massive dishes, some as big as 70 meters across, act like space amplifiers, supporting us with talking with rockets which can be someplace a ways away from right here. The Explorer exams, with all their cameras and sensors, have been our eyes and ears in space. To recognize the records they sent returned and manual them, we needed a reliable conversation device, and that is where the DSN came in. Imagine this, Explorer 1 creating a beeline to the outer elements of our close by planet group publicizes a message returned to Earth. It's a vulnerable sign moving incredibly speedy through area. By the time it reaches Earth, it's genuinely weak. But the DSN's huge radio antennas are ready to seize that susceptible sign. They lock onto Explorer's hum and flip it into information that scientists can use. The DSN doesn't simply acquire signals. It additionally sends orders. You spot, missions like Explorer are continuously converting. Scientists and engineers want to exchange their plans or train the GAP apparatus. They send those orders through the DSN taking pictures them into area to reach Explorer. It's like a two-way speak between Earth and the farthest human-made matters in space. Something extraordinary approximately the DSN is that it really works constantly 24-7, constantly listening for the ones a ways away alerts. The deep area network is like our space operator, not just a bunch of antennas. It keeps the memories of the Explorer missions going. Even as the distance apparatus goes some distance beyond our solar machine, exploring the unknown lands of interstellar space. Interstellar space is a piece easier to attain than the far quit of our planetary organization. Imagine the solar device as an inflatable with a haze of comet-like matters far away, kept intact by the sun's gravity. This cloud might also stretch halfway to the nearest megastar, and it'll take the Explorer tests approximately 300 additional years to get near its aspect. Now, while we communicate about interstellar area, it starts wherein the sun breeze, a surge of charged particles and magnetic fields from the solar, ends. The sun breeze acts like a swelling balloon, forming something called the heliosphere. This is like a protective bubble round the close by planet group, carried through the solar breeze. Ultimately, this bubble receives compressed by means of pressure from interstellar depend, forming a boundary called the quit shock. The line among our nearby plan institution and interstellar area is known as the heliopause expected to be genuinely a distance away. 
Once upon a time, some theories positioned it as near as Jupiter, but greater accurate calculations in 1993 said it's 100 times the space from Earth to the solar. Explorer 1 reached this boundary round 20 years after those estimations, detecting an upward push in plasma density. Now, Explorer 2 reached the interstellar ocean in 2018, but it noticed no adjustments in the magnetic area. This was unexpected, as theories expected modifications tied to the solar's 11-year cycle. The solar wind become most powerful whilst Explorer 2 arrived, testing these predictions. Because the explorers offer real facts, scientists are refining their fashions of how the heliosphere interacts with interstellar space. In easy terms, our sun left us a heat-ionized quarter and entered a partially ionized segment of the world, the hot area.